Hello, I'm Sandhya. This is my story. Uh, Papa, I love him. I was true to myself to find out my gender is, but I still lost myself because of love. Uh, Mum was not able to take it from being from an Orthodox Christian family. I still recall this incident where my aunt came to my place. Then the exact word from my auntie was, uh, "We don't have such." Uh, uh, like she addressed me as a creature la. We don't have this thing in our family And having you in our family is a disgrace uh, If I were given a chance to know that you were like that I would have given you a bottle of poison So you have just died and you would not be alive Then one fine day when I went out for a holiday When I came back, uh, everything The padlock and my door, the locks, everything was changed And this is what I was told To find your own way and don't come back Sometimes people think that, you know, you are being a transgender or being a trans woman, we are only made for sex or we are actually sex tough people, we only want sex in mind, but that's not the picture here. We are also human with feeling. I had the paper qualification, so I was still thinking that, you know, I could find a normal job. So I tried my very best and I had a savings in my hand, so I was just staying in the hotel for the first few days after I left my home. And eventually when my saving was depleting, I had no choice. I actually stayed in a multi-storey car park for five days till I met a friend. But my friend gave me a place to stay in her house. But after 10 days, you know, if you're already a burden to your family, then what more to a friend? So eventually it is like, you know, I have no money. And she was telling me, you know, uh, you have tried all means, but why don't you try this until you save up enough money to do something and you need to start your own business. Sometimes hunger seems more real than dignity. I could still remember this day very well. It was on Valentine's Day. The day where I decided to be in, to be in the streets uh, doing sex work. It was my first client I took. The moment he touched me, I just broke down there. And he actually asked, why are you crying? And I told him that this is my first. And he was very nice. And he actually took the permission from, a, from the pimp there to bring me out. And I went with him. He actually brought me to his place. Then he was telling that he's going to buy back dinner. So he went down and he came back. And when he opened the door, I was very shocked. There was like 18 over other guys behind him. And he just came in, I was actually held at a knife point and saying that I need to service all these 18 men. And I always like do believe that, you know, uh, no matter who you are, you still need to do your duty as a child to your parents, your family. So even though I was doing sex work, uh, every month without fail, I would actually transfer a small amount of money to my mom's account and they would tell her, your mom is not touching your money. Until the money was only used for my father's funeral, my father passed away. I left my house at 1998-99. The funeral was at 2007. Uh, I was like, I was... The phone call was my brother. Now the first thing my brother was telling, okay, Papa passed away. If you want to see him for the last time, please come to the mortuary before we go and collect the body. Uh, so, went there very, very early. Mm -hmm. I always used to call home and I do not know how I would take it. So it's just that when I hear my mom's voice or my father's voice, I would just hang up. So eventually my father, I think, he understood it was me, so he, he just spoke. He said, come back, I will speak to mom for you. And I just hang up. Uh, two years ago, I met in an accident. I got burned in the temple. Uh, I suffered 60% third-degree burn. 
I mean, at the end of the day, I, could, I won't say that my mom did not love me because when she heard the call that I was admitted in the hospital, she was one of the first person who came running and she was there throughout my hospital stay. After work, she would come and visit me. And my mom is also working, so she's not able to cook in the afternoon. So she'll wake up early morning, the wee hours, to cook whatever I need. Then she'll bring it to the workplace, she'll bring it to the fridge. Then she'll come to visit me. She'll come and visit me at seven. And she makes sure I at home cook food. Lo. The love which I have for my mother now is like is much more priceless than anything. And I would also like to share love with my fellow transgender friends. So that is why I'm engaged with T Project now. So it's like uh, to love everyone for what they are. I think love is, is from within. If you don't love yourself, you can't expect others to love you.